Hey, congrats on the win. How does it feel to get this one out of the way and be moving on? Feels awesome. We're one step closer to where we want to be, and it, it's right where I want to be. You guys were able to extend the lead in the second quarter. I think you kind of gained quite a bit of separation in that second quarter with your defense. What were you doing that kept them from scoring? Um, we did a triangle and two on Duncan and the other chick, and it, it worked. They didn't, I don't think they prepared for it, and our defense played amazing. That's what kept us in the game. So who were the, I guess, who were the people who had the key assignments in that, and what was your role? Did you have a lot of ground to cover then to try and make up for some other spots? I had a lot of ground. 32 was a bigger chick and she was going to get the ball, so I had to f fill down and then Maggie and Sadie were on the two chicks face guarding, so we just had to pick up where they were slacking. Did, did you execute that game plan pretty well, do you think? We did. Offensively, uh, for the most part early on, it was getting the ball to Sophia. She, I think, had 16 in the first half. Was that a big emphasis? Yes, our main goal is to get it into Soph and have Soph go to work and once they shut her down, then we all step up and do our thing. We played here obviously a lot in the past, but does it take a little while to settle in and just kind of get the flow of the game? Yeah, you got to get used to the hoops, and then once you start hitting things, it's I feel relaxed and I'm ready to play. At what point was that for you in this game that you started to settle in? I think two minutes into the game. I mean, I've been here before, so I kind of knew what to expect, and I relaxed and played. They cut it down to five. I think it was at 42-37 for quite a few trips up and down the floor, and you guys uh, able to kind of pick things up and put it away after that. But when they got it to within five, was there much panic or anything? No, because I believe we could pull out again. Do you think there maybe could have been in the past? Maybe, you know, you have a veteran group, maybe in years past, would you have maybe not been able to hang on to a lead like that? More than likely. Uh, the fourth quarter, you stretched up the lead uh, early in the fourth. What did you get going back in your favor to get pulling away? Like Coach P says, always go for the jugular, and that's what we did. We went and we played outstanding defense, and that's what helped us. Defense leads to offense, and that's what did it. What other words of wisdom does he have, or maybe some things that uh, the average fan wouldn't know about him just from watching him coach from the sideline? Um, he believes in us, we believe in each other. He says 32 minutes is what wins a game, and we played 32 minutes today. Did you, I guess, uh, Sydney, you beat him pretty comfortably last year. So I don't suppose you expect to come in and just dominate, but nope. did you feel pretty confident today? Um, sort of. As the game started going on, we figured out what their key things were. I mean, Coach P prepared us for everything, and once we were on top, I felt relaxed, and I knew we could do it. Did you get to see much of the Turkey Valley win before you guys? Nope. I think we saw like 10 minutes of it. But do you know much about them? Nope. Well, either way, your goals, I guess, as the uh, tournament continues. Yes. What do, you, what do you hope to do? Hope to beat Turkey Valley and make it into the championship and do it from there. Congrats on a big win today and a nice game from you. Thank you.